what's going on youtube i'll be dope checking in once again with part two to the sports design tutorial all right so this is where we're going to actually take the image from photoshop and put it in adobe photoshop and after effects so you do have to have a little bit of knowledge on that in order for you to make this happen so first, you're going to try to save your file over. You don't want to save the actual PSD. You want to save it as like a mod file. Uh, just, that's what I name them, just like motion, because you're going to do a lot of destructive editing. So pretty much what we're going to do is try to combine it to as many layers as possible individually so we can edit those individual layers in Photoshop and in After Effects, because it's kind of the same concept. It's just having the right layers and doing need, what you need to do on each layer. All right, so now you just wanna go ahead and name all your layers so they're easily identifiable in After Effects. This, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the gradient maps take on each image. So you just wanna copy and paste them and then create a smart object for each individual image. See how I'm copying and pasting? Then turning on the image and then click the image and then convert to smart objects so now the image has it because if you try to do it just by itself in Photoshop uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, I mean in Premiere it doesn't pick up all of the masking and all of the special effects that you do um, just with it alone so you just want pretty much just the image and just the text Okay guys, so now we're gonna take that design that we just created with LaMelo Ball and we're gonna actually add some animations to it. I feel like everybody always does animate it with like music people and stuff like that. But I feel like uh, soon it's gonna be all about just making, making the most out of the options and the things that you have available to you. Uh, especially like just mainly photos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the LaMelo PSD that we saved as the one that we just did and um, brought all the elements together so they're all edit editable elements so you're just going to take this and you're just going to drag this right into Photoshop I already had added a few of the animated overlays for my pack to add in there so yeah so now we're just adding that and we're just going to add it like that follow along just create a new sequence real quick just name this one Manella. And now most people be like, oh, you're supposed to be doing this type of design, this type of stuff. Well, y'all let me know what you want to do. I'm doing what I like to create. Because if I'm not having fun creating it, then what's the point? All right, so bet you're going to take the green, green version. You're just going to scale that. You're gonna scale this so everything fits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna get delete that. And we want this animation about 10 seconds. So you can go in here, take all the files, and these are all the layers that we just combined in um, Photoshop. So we're gonna take this up to 10 seconds. Okay. Like that, boom, like that. And what we're actually about to do, <laughs> we're actually gonna add a few elements in here already. Go ahead and take this. And we're gonna add another layer on there. And then right there, this is where we're gonna add our paper texture. Take this. Come in, K. Delete that. Now you have like a black, like looking background. So we're just gonna go to edit real quick. So we're just gonna fix that one. Make I think we're gonna invert this as well. Just invert it like that. And then you kind of already have like some some um some action going on. 
I kind of want it uh, lightly over my images that I already have. So I'm just going to do soft, just so you can see. Cool. I'm going to let that rock, just in the background. Back. Go back to assembly. We kind of already have that. These are going to be our extra layers. So we're just going to take this whole thing. And I know you guys are like, dang, she keeps taking this program to program. But this is a, um, a motion graphics tutorial. So we're going to replace this. Open up After Effects. It's going to ask you to create another file. And then we're just going to save this under the Lamello folder. Just name this mellow ae let me get my let me get my my files together make sure i make sure i fit it in there so y'all can see everything okay cool cool so now we're in after effects we're just gonna cut this down to a third because we don't really need to see it too crazy. So you're giving us all these files. They're giving us all these files. So what do we do? We want to make some things move. We want to make some things come in. We want to have some cool things going on. I do see a mistake. It's supposed to be this Charlotte Hornet. It's supposed to be having a white outline, but I forgot to um, collapse it in Photoshop so we're just gonna do that in post you, you can clean up literally anything in After Effects so now we're in After Effects Premiere is just to hold the file so it can have easy time frame and easy overlay stuff like that After Effects is where all the magic is gonna happen all right so let's try hmm let's see what we're gonna do here all right cool we're not gonna have any really in and out animations uh, we'll save that for the final. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second But we're just gonna have all the characters moving at first Let's just get some motion going just so we can get like right into it. So we can just put that to like half All right, cool. So we're gonna make this guy move first And let me see this is the right and then we label all the layers So you kind of already know who you're looking for right mellow Right bet. so right mellow We're gonna take this tool up here. It's called the puppet tool we're actually gonna put one in the basketball, two on the arm, one on the elbow, and then we're gonna give them a starch pin. This kind of replicates a bone. A bone is gonna be in his arm right there. We're actually gonna do another pin. Put two right there. Put another one at the end here. And then maybe some for the hip the hip area so i'm just putting it all over so then um he has some good points this is a bone so we're gonna put that it's a bone right there Boom. So first, we're just gonna start off. Start at the beginning. This is where all the thing, uh, all the points are. So with the points here, you just grab. So we're just gonna start here. One. This is where everything is. So you just kind of open this up. You could just press U, and it'll kind of give you all the the pinpoints for the for the for the puppet pin. You just want to grab those. And you just move those to the beginning, and then how long it takes to move like maybe eight nine seconds ten seconds because at this point it's going to go to one second that's a little bit too long for a movement i feel like if people are moving it's going to be generally in the 39 second range and then this one we're just going to grab the arm first and then you're going to play around with it so you get a good motion all right so as you can see his arms going all wonky Looking like the Toon Stars in here. So 
so I'm just gonna slowly move this on like that. So with the arm moving like that, I'm gonna move this arm up a little bit because that's where he would be moving if he was actually walking. Boom. So you see how the whole body just moves like that. So the whole party just moves like that. And then we're gonna go and like round 125. 30. Let's move this back down. Put the arm back down. Put the elbow back down. Take the head a little bit up. Take the head and these two points together. Take the head back a little bit. Oh, it looks kind of wonky. Rotate that. So until you get a nice little motion that you like. So I like those. And then we're just gonna copy and paste those. Take all of these, copy these, move down a little bit, paste, move down a little bit, paste, move down a little bit, paste, and then we're gonna take all of these, highlight every single one. Right click, keyframe, easy ease. So it's cool. Then we're just gonna collapse that back. And you're just gonna do that for each one. You're just gonna add different points on the on the position of the puppet. And then you just wanna do that for each joint. Like look, okay, it looks like he's dribbling a little bit. All right. Yeah, I like that. Cool. That's a nice little motion. So now we pick up this one. Shoot, mellow. Okay, we're gonna touch up this one. Zoom in. Same thing. Add the puppet tool. I'm gonna add one to the top of his head. Basketball. Take these, press U. I like them, bring those back to the beginning. You're gonna wanna, same thing, like round 24 seconds. This one, I'm gonna move his head a little bit. Ah, you wanna grab just that pin. So we're actually grabbing this one. Okay, but grab this one and this one. I don't want to lift his head up too much. I just kind of want to shift his head. Bring it down a little bit. So yeah. Cool. Same thing. Just kind of, kind of move it back. Some slight, nothing too crazy. Over a few pixels, or a few few seconds. Just move it over a few keyframes. I don't ever count. I just kind of just go what I feel like is right. Not too short, not too long. So it kind of feels the same. Boom, same thing. You're gonna copy all those. Click on them. 
after you copy them and you're gonna easy ease you're gonna easy ease the whole time since there's no really like coming in or coming out all right so bet cool look one moving two moving this one's moving oh yeah if you really want to take a step further normally i would have cut out each arm each leg i would have did the basketball separately i would have did each part individually like this arm i would have done his arm separately all that but just for the sake of the tutorial so it's not extra long it's already two parts so we're not trying to get too crazy but yeah so we're just going to take this left mellow right here boom same thing put at the beginning to stick the points one on the top of his head two on the neck so it holds the position we're gonna do two on the arm one on the hand one on the elbow and we're gonna do a starch pin right there on his arm take the thumb gonna move over a few keyframes like before 20 right around 20. cool let's try to move his arm a little bit body move the head a little bit there we go move over a little bit now 14 move the head back move the body back and we're just keeping it light for this one same thing a few seconds over move the head back move the body forward and for this one, you can press U once again. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Keep it simple. Like I said, this one's a simple one. Just so you guys can start getting that uh, creative juices flowing. So let's take these. Boop, boop, boop. That more easy ease them. There we go. Yes, sir. That's cool right there. See how it's all moving? That's dope. Spray paint. I think this one is called Burn. Burn film. We're going to use it for the spray paint. Start here. Burn is at zero. Random seed. And then by put the burn at 100. So it's like clear. And then about, it takes about one second to come in. Go zero. Oh. Yeah, see how it kind of glow grows. Yeah, I like that. So it kind of grows. So I guess it's growing. And then after it's there. I'll put it back up to like 70, then skip a few, go back down to zero, then go to 70, then go back down to zero. Then you're gonna open up the keyframes. You now we're gonna do is just copy these, boom, paste them things, and just to keep everything like a fluid motion, I always easy ease everything. That. So, yeah. so, See now it's got some motion. And then with the glow in the background, that's fire, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think next would be the Lamello ball joint. 
this one I think I'm gonna use a dissolve transition. Some sort of glass white, yeah, glass white, and we're gonna drop that right on the Lamello 101. And as you can see, what it does, oh, that's dope. So, we're gonna put gel, use keyframe for up a few seconds, get a hundred, then start seeing what's going on, put a little bit down, 100, and put a little bit down, the 100, you feel me, you, copy and paste, those assets, easy ease, once again, I'm trying to make this fast as it can be, but, if y'all want me to slow down and teach y'all, this is what happens. There you go. So now the lamella ball got some got some uh, effects in it, and I think I'm gonna use that same effect, glass wipe, and I'm gonna paste that on the actual autograph as well. So now they both kind of. Oh dang! Hold on, I'm gonna mess something up. Okay, I might not be doing that. <laughs> That one's moving. Cool. We're just gonna add like a simple wiggle. Oh no, we're gonna add, we're gonna go up there, animation presets. It's something with the lights, image. Not that, image special effect. Some with opacity. You just type it in, they got a bunch of effects. I'm low key trying to make my panel bigger, so excuse me now. Opacity flash random, just drop that on autograph, let's see what it do. Okay, that so we're not gonna put that on autograph. I actually want that on the the Hornet logo, so we're gonna drop that right on the Hornet. Yeah, that's dope. Flash in the back, yeah. Cool. Now we got this paper rip right here. We're gonna go ahead and use the page turn for that. Type in page turn, drop that right on there. Make sure it's at the beginning. And as you can see, Definitely don't know why a page turn not working. I bet. So as you can see, the fold, fold position. All right, so this is what's gonna get you guys right. Top 
right hand corner. But then we're at the beginning. I don't know if I want to try to like lay it down like that or if I do it from the left hand corner and then kind of like yeah so bet we're gonna start off the screen with the full position we're gonna move it over a few like 29 and then just move that thing back over here the full position lay that joint right down that's it boop and we're gonna just do easy in easy in for this one so look yeah 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 that's fire but for this down here this is the stadium we actually going to use a thing called a lighting effect we're just going to play around see what they got cool Oh yeah, I like that right there. Give it light, it streaks through the joint. Boop. Boom, like that. Everything is looking like it's motion, bruh. I just gotta add some, some stroke. We got a stroke on the logo. I'm, I'm extra, so I am gonna add a little ecto. Ecto is not included in the programs. This is a um, this is a uh, Red Giant program. It's another plugin that you can get. And we're just looking for some. Ooh, we might have found one. Yeah, this is ugly. Ooh, that one's hard too. All right, do that. I don't need too much glow. So I like that one, but I'm looking for something that's more like this so I can have the colors like I need to have them. Red is not the color, so we're actually going to do this. Blue, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we're going to do this purple. Right. Right here. Ooh. We got some now. Right there. It would have it would have looked better if I already had a stroke on there, but I, I'm trying to not make this tutorial too long. So you guys get the point. Just add something on there that gives it some, you know, the feeling. Gotta keep a couple of elements still so everything's not moving. So I'm gonna keep the 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 signature still. 
the shot of Hornet still. I definitely could have added, um, I could have added something, like, with the tech or something, but we're not doing all that. It's just keeping it chill, man, keeping it chill. So you just save that and then you just close out of After Effects. Now you got your program right there, all your stuff, all the stuff that you just did. It should be now in After Effects. Just taking a second to come on over. There you go. So now it's moving, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to add a few things on top. Oh, we can go to that flex menu. Add that. Unlink. Delete. We're going to take this. We're going to actually invert this. Invert. Darken. And this is for my effects pack that y'all can use. It's out now. $15. Go ahead and support. You know what I'm saying? Support the channel. Keep me motivated. Everybody was asking me to do all this stuff. Send them stuff. And hey man, I got bills. <laughs> I do this for fun. Just to help the people out. I'm gonna bring that plastic Weekend, down a little bit. Like Darken. Yeah. And then we're gonna add this basketball on there too. Oh look, this perfect too. And then we're gonna probably yeah, we're gonna lighten this up. Add yeah. that. We're gonna put that like, right over top of this basketball. So like, this is the most prominent basketball. Let's throw this right over the basketball. Bitch, oh, yeah. Cool. We do have to. No end, I gotta, it does move a little bit, so it's position. You just gotta follow the ball a little bit. Make sure it don't get too crazy. Move a little bit. Move a little bit. Come down. Same thing. Okay, so you just want to follow the basketball for this part. Okay, make sure everything is keeping staying aligned. Yeah, man. And that's it for that part. You could probably add some sound or something on it. I think I'm going to add this to reels. So then I'm just going to add some sounds in the reels. But you can add any music that you want in there. Maybe some sounds where it says like LaMelo Ball or something like that. With the crowd cheering. But yeah, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. And until next time, creators, keep creating.